Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our 11 a.m. broadcast. Our 11 a.m. broadcast here of Morningstar Communication Network, MCM Ministries. And yes, it is 11 a.m. o'clock Pacific Center Time. I am filling in for my beautiful, talented, blessed wife as uh, she's on the injured reserve list. So we, we're just sharing the living word of God, just sharing and giving and giving and giving. So we're going to be touching on a similar subject that, that my wife has been preaching and teaching on. And we're going to go with love without borders today. So we're going to ask you to go into, turn over to Matthew chapter 13. And we're going to really uh, get, dive into the Word of God of this blessed lesson this morning, this afternoon. And a good evening in your part of the world, Asia, Africa, India, and Europe. Uh, and just really focus on this end of, end of your day with your family, your loved ones, and just really praying together, praying ceaselessly, enjoying the fellowship of the company of the saints. And again, we're right based here in Los Angeles, California. We are 501c3 certified church here in the United States. So let's get right on with the lesson. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time, the loving truth of this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Wherever the, the blessed brother or sister is hearing this word of God, May they go and proclaim this message. May go and proclaim the, proclaim the living word of God. May go and proclaim that this is our championship season. There is no off season during the championship season because we go and spread the living word of God. We lift up our prayers and repentance to you, O God, so you can pour new mercies upon this day. We lift up our, the cry unto you that we want to know ever smart every day better than we knew you yesterday. So you can pour down all the wisdom and discernment with us and upon us. And dear Jesus, we thank you for your loving truth. We thank you for the guidance. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, blessings in, uh, to our brothers and sisters in, in, in the host of the Olympics. My wife has well asked me to share that she thoroughly was blessed and well, 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 well organized plans and just Thank you for such a wonderful, entertaining time. That's from my wife. And and let's get right into our lesson. Speaking of God's love without borders, let's go into Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 and 40 through 46. Chap Matthew chapter 13, 44 through 46. Now, the hidden treasure. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like the treasures hidden in the field which a man found and hid and for joy over and for joy over it he goes and sells all that he had and buys that field the parable of the pearl again the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking the beautiful pearls and when he had found one pearl of great price he went and sold all that he had and bought it we must make the movement to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. To understand that we are buying a new life when we surrender unto God. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 7, But what things were gained to me, these I have counted lost to Christ. I have given up my old life of sin. I have moved and bought the gifting of redemption by turning my life over to God. I am redeemed. We are focusing on our reality of our redemption with God. We are redeemed. We're not when, when we grow up, we'll be redeemed. We are in, redeemed now. And verse 8, Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. By my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of many things, and counted them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. No matter what the world says unto you, as th speaking through the ways of man, no matter what false promises they have, or promises of a lifestyle, no matter how inexperienced you are, how young you are, how old you are, where well, you should be at the age of accountability, then we should address the invitation to the abundant life. Love of Christ has no borders. You have no limits. Your talents have been stretched as you produce your calls. Enlarge the tent of your territory. 
Isaiah 51 verse 5, Isaiah 55 verse 1. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you have no man to come by and eat. Yes, come by wine and milk without money and without price. Isaiah 51 verse 1. Have faith in God, brethren. Have faith in God. During his earthly ministry, the, came, the key theme of the Lord Jesus Christ preaching and teaching was the kingdom of heaven. He began his ministry proclaiming the kingdom at hand in Matthew 14, verse 17. For the time, from that time, Jesus began preaching, began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he sent his apostles on the limited commission to proclaim the same message. And as you go preach, saying the kingdom, kingdom of heaven is at hand. He taught many parables to illustrate great truths about this kingdom, our kingdom, the kingdom of eternity, the kingdom of God, through which he revealed many things that had previous, previously been secret. In verses 35 and 30, 34 and 35 of Matthew 13, all these things spoke Jesus to the multitude in, our, in the parables, and without a parable he did not speak to them that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open, open my mouth in parables. I will utter things kept secret from the foundation of the world. In Psalms chapter 78, verse 2, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark, dark sayings of old. Ephesians chapter 3, for, 3, verse 9, And to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery from which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ. We give unto you, God, much thanks and love, the beautiful truth, the beautiful love that you have brought for us, given to us, as we lift up our thanks and prayers to you, O God. Jesus illustrated the kingdom to be of, of beyond the definition of great value. So great that one was who stumbles upon it sells all to obtain it. So great that one searching for it sells all to buy it. I've known new Christians who were healed from afflictions that they were told they'd be dead. Or in my wife's case, could never walk. My wife just looked at the doctor and said, laughed. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, was one of the quotes. And we go into our life by giving financial offerings to ministry like ours and to churches and organizations that we are, the Lord has brought before us, physically and spiritually brought before us. And as we give our financial seeds to this ministry, God blesses you with provisions. God blesses you with plans. God just doesn't leave you hanging out there. Yes, we will be tempted, deceived. We will ask all kinds of promises, promises by the ways of man. We move into this time of great love. We move into this endless value of the rhythm of truth. For the truth does set us all free. The truth does give us to the elegance and the eloquence of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this time together, this morning, this off, this evening, I wish to address several questions that have brought have been brought up in some of the lessons that my wife and I have told. What is this kingdom? Why is it considered to be of such great value? Is it really worth it? What will cost? What will it cost us? Let's begin to really nose dive into our lesson today. God's kingship, rule, or recognize sovereignty, the term as used by the Jews often stressed the, the idea or rule of dominion or geographical area surrounded by physical boundaries. But in this case, God has no boundaries. It is used this way by Jesus in Matthew 6 verse 10. Your kingdom come, it will be done. Thus, the kingdom of heaven would involve the rule of heaven in the hearts of man. We can rule earth through our hearts from the throne room of God. 
It is not a physical kingdom. John chapter 18, verse 36. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I should be not, not delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. But one that is spiritual. Romans 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not eating, drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. It is visible. Manifestation today is the, is the form of the Lord's church. For the church is that the community, brothers and sisters, of the souls in whose hearts God is recognized as sovereign. The church constitutes the kingdom of God on earth. Consider how the term church and kingdom were used interchangeably. Matthew 16 verse 18. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on the, this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Comments made to those who were in the church. First, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12, that you would walk worthy of God who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. First, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of the Son of His love. The description of those in the Church of Asia, found in Revelation chapter 1, verse 4, 6, and 9. There's a future element as well as a present one. Because the present time we change our life over to God. The present time the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of heaven goes into the spirit of our hearts. We rule this earth with the kingdom of heaven living in that new heart. The future aspect is spoken by Jesus, Paul, and Peter, Matthew chapter 25, verse 34. Then the king will say to his those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. In Second Peter chapter 1, verse 10 and 11, Therefore, brethren, be even more diligent to make your call and election sure, for if you do these things which you will never stumble, for so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Christ. Amen, brothers and sisters. We stress the heavenly kingdom to, to deliver us from every evil work, every darkness, every bondage that is trying to hold us back, every confusion, every distraction. Dear Lord, place us the loving truth of your guidance and your message around us all day long. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18, And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. It is found wherever the sovereignty of God is accepted in the hearts of men. That's the kingdom. It is a spiritual kingdom for God who rules in the hearts of men. That his outward manifestation today is the Lord's church. The rule of the kingdom of our God will be culminated with the coming of the Lord. It will be experienced only by those in the church who are submitting to God's will today, the now, the faith. I'm not putting a time stamp on God is coming back, but we can't afford to be like Jericho who waited 40 years, you know, before they were wiped out and rehabs home with a purple robe outside of where her window was, was the only physical place that she, that was left untouched in Jericho. As his former harlot who helped bring over Moses' people, Moses' spies, God's people became a great inheritance from the kingdom of God. She inherited great value, as you can right now, brothers and sisters, inherit great value 
of the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your time to come into the kingdom of God and experience the endless realm of cold eternity. You're on the road of grace. Let's go to that road straight and narrow. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, that's you. Let's call upon him together. Let's not hold back. Let's not have anything move around us or hate us. Let's love everybody who's, who transgresses against us. Let's love all the aspirations of God's truth, for his truth shall set us what? Free. This is for those who don't know Christ. Who want to feel redemption. Who want to drink from that cup. To drink of the waters of wisdom. We have not because we ask not. Oh dear Lord, bless us with the abundance of your financial truth. Bless us with all the strength and confidence. Let us know, let us feel what the victory is. Turn this into the vision of the manifestation of your glory. Let us focus on the living word of God. Give us that strength to get into a Bible faith, faith based Bible believing church. For in Jesus' name, brothers and sisters, in Jesus' name, we seek the living Lord. Now, brothers and sisters, we seek the truth of the renewing of the minds. This time, right now, the faith shall set us all free. The truth and love will guide us into the now. Repeat this after me if you can. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from myself and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you, O oh God, to send the Holy Spirit into my life and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Jesus. That's my wife. Praise your name in the background. I am lifting your name up, but most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God right now. As I say often, what a way to start an evening, an afternoon, whether you're Europe, Asia, Africa, or here, North America, or India. Think of it, brethren. God's old angels are place, are singing your name before the throne of God. It's better to have in your, it's, I'd rather have you have that than a, your name on a marquee, which is outside an old abandoned theater. The angels of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. God loves you. You have that hedge of protection around around yourself now from the throne room of God. Your answer prayer starts where? In heaven. Also, brethren, we go to the unchurched with a lot of these broadcasts, whether you're in a, in a convalescent home here in North America, Canada, Mexico, South America, love you got your old seminary school here my wife Anita sowing seed with her love and her financial blessings reaping what she sows has already blessed this entire ministry with coming forward into the four corners of the world with her blessed talents I come unto you as a warrior prophet, prophet asking you asking you to join He's broadcast this team by going to the, our crusades together through the four corners of the world, traveling upon the whispers of gold's wind, feeling the, the kingdom of God coming alive in the crusades that we have in Africa and Asia, and right here in North America, going into Europe with future broadcast over major networks. We need your financial help. We need you to become a financial minister partner into this ministry. As you plant your seed into this ministry, your harvest is going to explode into the following harvest to come. As the windows of heaven will open up above you and, they, and you'll have no room to place them in, in any 
part of your storehouses, your lives, your cars, your apartments, anywhere. Brethren, this is your time, your truth. We thank you for your prize and ahead of time. In Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, may the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ guide you into this moment of your expression. Come into our lives right now. Come into this message and feel us, O oh God, in Jesus' name. The kingdom of heaven obviously is a refuge from all the evils of the darkness and the shadows. There is not one sense of illness, death, sickness in the kingdom of heaven. Outside of the kingdom is a kingdom of Satan. It's under his influence, trapped by various sins, the kingdom of Christ, we find deliverance and refuge. Set free from sin to serve God. Romans 6, verse 17 and 18. But God be thanked that through you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to whom to which you were delivered, and having been set free from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. The robes of righteousness are, are, are all around you, all around you. In Jesus' name, God will not allow us to be tempted beyond our ability to bear. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. Therefore let, no, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. No, no temptation has overtaken you, except such as common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you be able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to hear it. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest in the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. To iniquity. God came into our lives to die for our sins. To come into the truthfulness to give us hope, to give us faith, to give us love, to die for the, our iniquities, and to be born again as God rises to the kingdom of heaven, your everlasting love. We seek all. We seek the truth, for well said, so is Romans 11 verse 20, because of unbelief they were broken off, and you stand by faith, not be haughty, but fear. You have no fear through the, uh, through the ways of man's, in the direction of the ways of man's, you just have only one fear, that's the fear of God. God created you, God created the universe, God created the earth. God should be able to take us all down when he wants, because we are of this sinful nature. But I stress again, choices cannot be predestined. Choices are not predestined. But this is. Your goal is Matthew 6.13. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Matthew 7.7. 7, Ask, seek, and find. Ask, seek, and find. For this is your time, brethren. For when we seek, ask, seek, we're finding the opportunity, which is the now, to knock. 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 Knock, brethren. Knock loud. Sing your songs loud and clear. Sing unto your times, O oh brethren. Sing unto the truth of peace and joy. Righteousness comes through faith in Christ. Peace of God through prayer which surpasses all understanding. Abiding in the joy, joy of the Lord no matter what the circumstances. 
That is an unshakable kingdom. The other kingdom is. There is no middle ground. It will never be destroyed. Daniel chapter 22 verse 44. And in the days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall, shall stand forever. Imagine having that kingdom of perfectness, of perfection. That's all for you, brethren. That's not just up for the high and mighty. It's not up for one that thinks they are, they're competitive through lifestyles. It's not about having a lifestyle of the ways of men. It's having a lifestyle with God. It's letting, letting God change you, mold you for the purpose of, his, of your life is to be Christ driven. To, dry, to go into the excellency of God's knowledge. Of this king, kingdom there will be no end. At the same time, it will be presented to God when Christ returns. Those who are now sons of the kingdom will shine forth as a son of the kingdom of their father. Matthew 13, 41 and 42. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather all out of his kingdom all things that offend, and those who practice lawlessness, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. From then on, those in the kingdom will dwell in the presence of God. From then on, those who dwell will dwell in the presence of God. Revelation 21, verse 1 through 7. So we just went over this a few weeks ago. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There will be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the waters of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcome shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Brethren, we speak of the Lord of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ, the, the truth of the end times of end times of the world that we are living in. We are considered to have paid. We have paid a price. But who are we to complain? Because Christ was persecuted, paid a great price way before we, we were ever, ever, ever thought of ever born. Our actions will demonstrate whether we value the greatness of, of this kingdom by whether or not we obey the gospel, by whether or not we remain zealous and faithful to our service to the God of all creation. Brothers and sisters, Jesus loves you. Jesus wants you. We want you to come into the kingdom of God. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for this truth. We thank you for this road of grace that brings us to your straight and narrow. Our many are caught off, you are chosen. We thank you for the loving truth, for the truth shall set us all free. We thank you, Jesus, for this moment of being a witness and sending forward out this message. Now let's be witnessed upon and go to those that need us, need you, O Lord Jesus Christ, we lift up our prayers and thanks as you and repentance upon all, lifting up all those who need the forgiveness of, of the repentance of the prayers as you pour your new verses upon us on this day, this afternoon, this evening. 
And dear Jesus, we thank you all for the financial abundance of your message and your truth, for the truth has set us all free. In Jesus' name. Brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this morning and this afternoon from North America. We thank you for your time. Until next time. Au revoir, adios, good day. For the people who stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianTewitt.com, BrianTewitt.com. And, and we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day. For the people.